The topics are state space models and phase variables. We'll use this example to introduce the topic. We have a system with one input, U, and one output, Y. The system is described by an S domain model, which can be transformed into the time domain, assuming a zero initial conditions. Notice that it's a third order differential equation, which was predictable because of the three. This new time domain model is two matrix equations containing several first order differential equations. There will be exactly three first order differential equations to replace this one third order differential equation. Doing it is easy, but some explanation is needed. This is the model. X is the state vector containing three states. In this example, that's the state vector. X dot is the derivative of the state vector. U is the scalar input and Y is the scalar output. A, B, C, and D are constant matrices. A, B, C, and D have the appropriate dimensions to support the state vector, the state vector derivative, the scalar input, and the scalar output. A has to be a 3 by 3 matrix. B has to be a 3 by 1 column vector. C has to be a 1 by 3 row vector. D has to be a one by one scalar. Multiplying A by X, multiplying B by U, multiplying C by X, multiplying D by U, We now have three first order differential equations and one output equation. These three first order differential equations and one output equation replace the one third order differential equation. The state space model will be complete as soon as we determine the component values of A, B, C, and D. The states are not unique. In other words, the states can be defined many different ways. Those are state, those are phase variables. One way to define states is through phase variables. The first state, x1, is defined as the output variable. The second state, x2, is defined as the derivative of the first state. The third state, x3, is defined as the derivative of the second state. The rest is easy. The derivatives of the states are now available in terms of the states and the highest derivative The first row in the matrix equation is x1 dot equals x2 The second row in the matrix equation is x2 dot equals x3 The third row in the matrix equation in terms of the states and u come from the original differential equation y is equal to x1, that's the output equation.
In summary, phase variables define three states. The original third order differential equation has been transformed into two matrix state equations. Notice the ones above the diagonal. Notice the bottom row comes directly from the differential equation. And finally, the reason this approach, this new state variable system is desirable is because it permits multiple inputs and multiple outputs, even though in this example there's only one input and one output.